so finally guys the wait is over here i am with another way to get credits for doing labs so first of all the link is in description and the code too so you need to follow the steps also i will be covering a lab for it so now here you need to select a quick tool click on sign in make sure you are logged out previously sign in now you have to start lab so basically you can either start the lab and wait for 6 minutes or we will proceed with the other task on the lab so let's start now we will open cloud console incognito window now enter the username 1 enter the password next now let's start so this is how the lab panel looks like so this is the lab that is a tour on google clouds so first of all google cloud is a cloud service hosted on google's infrastructure so it offers features like computing storage development deployment serverless computing creation of virtual box etc and many more while cloud skills boost is a platform where we can access google cloud services for free training that works in real google cloud basically they provide us a replica of the platform how the service looks like so here as you can see this is the lab page so whenever you will launch any lab you will get a page page like this and here you can once you click start lab a timing will show here so now let's see we get credits which i have stated in the video first tip that how you can get credits for doing labs so first of all let's answer these simple quiz so when you click start lab this builds a temporary environment that means once the time as you can see one hour five minute expires it will end you can try this quiz to yourself too now here are the details so once you click start app it starts developing temporary credentials that means once you click add lab this entire username and project id will be disposed of means of no use once the lab duration ends so as you can see when you click on open cloud console it will open the google cloud console so this is the username this is the password and this is the project id as you can see it clearly so always make sure to open an incognito window so let's answer what is this system admin is not present all right now viewing project so let me show you this is project info here is the project name project number and project id project id is unique and you can see here the resources the apis when you will enable it it will show monitoring news and other documentation so let's see the navigation menu click on view products and now we will go through all the products a basic so here is the compute here for storage for data catalog bigquery network vpc 
network service tires, serverless, cloud run functions, API gateway, endpoints, model running, Kubernetes. And for databases, here we have AlloyDB, SQL, Data Store, Firestore. And for observing the event incident, we have monitoring cloud monitoring and here are the CICD for deploying build artifact registries etc so these are the tools which they provide and also provide premium support to the paid packages so let's see something now for one task we have to enable the API and for one we have to add rule so here you can see the API library now let's move forward to the instruction manual so let's answer a basic quiz read the question and try to answer it yourself so now you can see the permissions so basically there are multiple types of permission so some basic permission includes as you all have known that viewing editing read only write only read write comment all so first of all here we will enable the api that is which api we have to enable let's see dialog flow api so copy the name paste here And now click here click enable now finally the api will be enabled and we will be done with that task but here we get all types of api which if you want to enable like for speech to text vision api and data flow for learning jobs etc so here for creating api key and service account here are the rest when you click on credentials you get a chance so you can restrict it here is the service account you can also create your service account depending on your requirements so now we will use i am admin So here you can see here are various rules and principles and the names associated with them. So first we will click on grant access. Then now here we will select the username. See both username are different. Always select from task username. So this username you won't have to choose. You have to choose that username mentioned on the task. So we have to select viewer role. basic and viewer so as you can see there are varieties of role here let me show you see various roles BigQuery, AI platform cloud talent dialog flow rapid service monitoring workplace etc so you need to adjust accordingly now click on check my progress answer some basic ways So this is basically a go through basic insights about gcp how you will learn so meanwhile in case you haven't subscribed to the channel do subscribe it and like the video now let's end the lab and we will see whether we got the credits or not because that was the part of the video that we were doing this lab and earning credits too so now click on end lab now for seeing subscription select this and select credits as you can see we got nine so now refresh it 
and wait for some time and refresh again. So as you can see, we got the 400 clicks.